Hello everyone, in this video we're going to see the dentist and the patient position and ergonomics for right-handed individuals uh, from a side view. For this same video in Arabic, please check the link below. After wearing the PPE, you're going to sit in the chair, place your foot flat on the floor, 90 degree with your leg and your knee 90 degree with your thigh, and sit back as much as possible so your back is touching the chair and your back is straight with your shoulders back so now we're going to start with quadrants one and two okay so when starting on quadrants one and two you're going to place the patient in a supine position allowing the level of the patient to be by your elbows so your elbows will be by the corner of the mouth of the patient then you're going to move the light starting from the patient chest towards the oral cavity so you do not disturb the patient and it, the light does not come on the patient's eyes. Okay, after that, you're going to hold the mirror and the handpiece and you're going to sit mostly behind the patient. You can sit a little bit towards the right side if you're right-handed. When working on the palatal surfaces, you're going to use indirect vision when working on the labial surfaces or the buccal surfaces, you're going to use direct uh, vision. But when you are working on the buccal surfaces, you can tilt the patient's head towards the left side so you can view clearly from the right. So you tilt the patient's head a little bit and then you can easily see the buccal surfaces and work clearly. Okay. And the same thing when working on the left side, you can ask the patient to tilt his head on the right side. So mostly you can work either behind the patient, right rear, or the right side, depending on where it's more comfortable, as long as your back is straight. Moving on to the lower quadrants, three and four, you're going to place the patient at a 45 degree, so the occlusal surface is 45 degree with the floor. When working on the lower quadrants, the dentist's position is either on the right rear, right or frontal position, as you can see here. So whatever is more comfortable to, for you and you can see clearly. And don't forget to adjust the light to direct it towards the operative field. So to work on the occlusal surfaces, this is the position. If you're going to work on the buccal or palatal surfaces, you're going to tilt the patient head a little bit until you can see the surface you're working on clearly, whether it was quadrant three or four. Moving on to the mandibular anterior teeth, you're gonna sit behind the patient and you're gonna use either direct or indirect vision to view the surface, whatever is easier and clearer. Sometimes it is uh, clearer to view with indirect vision and sometimes by direct vision. In this video, we demonstrated the patient position and the dentist position for right-handed individuals when working on the four different quadrants. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.